Here we got some ladders. Oh my god! All right, everyone. Welcome to Fossil Fuel. Obviously, this is the first game, and a lot of you guys were saying that I should check the first one out. So here we are. Now, what I did find weird about this when I just bought it a second ago, it has DLC. <laughs> It's called Raptor Isolation, and I have no idea if this just adds on to the main storyline or if it's something completely on its own, but I guess we're going to find out. So here we are. Deep under the Great Sitkin Island in Alaska, you find yourself in the heart of one of the greatest scientific research facilities on Earth. Genetic researchers have bred mutant dinosaurs. But things go bad when the base is invaded by shadowy special forces looking to steal the dino DNA. You grab your guns and ammo and prepare for a fight. And that's all we get. So, so welcome everyone to Fossil Fuel. The Great Sitkin Island, Alaska. the Sierra Research Institute made a major genetic breakthrough by cloning two extinct animals, the Samaritan rhino and dodo bird. As the financial benefits grew, a massive underground facility was constructed to house a new trillion dollar initiative. To bring back extinct dinosaurs. There it is. Even people that love dinosaurs know that that's a bad idea. <laughs> so we know how this is going to go. I am told by a lot of you guys as well, it's very much rough around the edges, what we would come to expect. But I'm told it's still kind of fun and it gives a bit of an idea of what's going on. So I am excited about this. Fossil fuel. Sierra Research Institute, 500 feet underground. So this is the uh, the trillion dollar facility then? Pass through security. Oh, there's so many things that I want to mess with though. Hello, sir. Please step forward to the airlock for sanitation. Have a nice day. <laughs> So is this facility going to be like fully automated or something like that? What's this? Welcome. In the pause menu, you can view player controls and you can adjust the game. Okay, yeah, we know all this. That's just getting started. Wait, can we actually... Oh, we... Oh, for a second, I thought that was going to be like health and stamina boost and stuff like that. That would have been really cool. All right, let's do as we're told then. We got to step in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I hate that effect. Okay, it's not that bad. Sometimes when this effect happens, I can get, like, really dizzy or even sometimes headaches and stuff. Oh. Hey, welcome to the pit, brother. Running a little later, aren't you? The director has called a big meeting and it's already started. Well, get your stuff from that cubby over there and I'll get the security door unlocked for you. Oh, no. Is that the containment unit that the Raptor was in at the beginning? I really thought we were going to get something where the raptor escaped, by the way. I wonder how many of you guys thought the same. Is this what he said? You got to pick this stuff up? Okay, so pretty much similar to what we used to then from before. So we got a hard helmet for your head. <laughs> okay. And a light attachment. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can combine stuff. Okay. What's this? Key cut? No, wait. Oh, that's cash. What? <laughs> Why do we need cash? Okay, let's do this then. So combine, combine this with this. There we go. And use, aha, there we go. Oh, I feel so much better now. I hate when we don't get like a flashlight. Can't see anything. Look at this with a little ambient like smoke or mist going on. <laughs> it's all going to go into chaos in a second. I'm pretty sure of it. Good morning. As many of you know, we have a new game warden joining us today. So is that us then? We are all very saddened by the loss of our previous warden, Isaac. But it is time to move forward and welcome our new team member. A mandatory meeting is to be held at 8 a.m. for all staff, so we can introduce the new game warden, as well as go over some new safety regulations here at the base. 
Additional notes. Maintenance has informed the administration that possible power drains should be expected over the next six hours. These drains are expected to be mild and will not interfere with the day-to-day -day operations. Okay. Regards, Elon Musk. <laughs> Sierra Director. Okay, I saw a few of you guys mentioning this. I thought you were joking. Obviously, with it being like a, a trillion dollar facility or something like <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> All right, where are we going then, Mr. Musk? Where we got to meet up. What did that guy call this place? The pit. Oh. Okay. Let's keep going this way then. Remember to use maximum precautions around specimens. <laughs> okay, yep. Definitely a trillion dollar facility. I have no idea where we've got to go. Oh, is this it? Some people just chilling over there. I don't know if you should be. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. What's up? What's oh. Going on? oh no, has it happened? I called it. I said something was about to happen. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. The facility's gone down 100%. Okay, we still have the flashlight. Oh. Okay, so the power drain was the cause of that then. Door requires a blue keycard. Okay. That was really quiet, but... A really calm person just came across over the PA system and said that the power drain is basically what caused that. And anyone that can help should report to a specific spot. Did I just hear gunfire then? Are these all like containment units? I think they are. Probably shouldn't be getting too close to them. Just having a look around. Let's keep going this way then. Your flashlight will attract attention. Use it sparingly. Oh, wait. No way. So, have we got assets out of containment right now? It's really, really bright. I'm not hearing any alarms or anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Oh, dead body over there. What's this? This key opens a door that corresponds to the card's color. Okay, so we got... Yellow? This poor guy. He's been folded in half. What's this? A vial containing antibiotics, which can restore health. Okay, so it's a health vial. Nice. Let's have a look at that. So we've only got eight slots then. Wait, what did that say? Okay, we've already read that. What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Already? No way. Hide. Oh, there you are. Oh, I immediately got goosebumps when I saw that. Is there nothing that we can hide in? Oh, no way you're going to eat that. You are, aren't you? Yep. So he's come back for his kill. Do I go? Yep. Okay. Evade. <laughs> yeah, right. There is no way I could do this, by the way. Even if it meant life or death, I'd just accept it. Oh, don't turn around. Okay. I don't know if it can hear me run or anything, but seeing as though it said use the flashlight, like, carefully or sparingly or something... I'm staying crouched. I do not care. If this takes me 10 hours to get through this facility, it takes me 10 hours. Come on. Close up. No way can we not close. Oh, we can. Yes. So we just got raptors on the loose now then. There's no containment teams. No contingencies in place, even for this trillion dollar facility or anything like that. Cool. <laughs> I can really feel it now. Oh. Bolt cutters. Okay. Can't get anything out of there. Oh, we can get stuff out of here, though. 
more cash. Another health file. And a syringe. Oh, let's do that with... Wait, can we combine the two of them? No, we can only combine that with that. Okay, nice. Let's put them there. And we are golden. Turn the lights off. Did I just hear a gunshot or was that a door? The hairs on the back of my neck have just stood up. Oh, I did hear something. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Wait, no way. I just trapped myself behind a door. God, my hands cramped up immediately. <laughs> oh no! Already this is happening. Oh wait, I've got to do all that sequence again. Oh shit, okay. Oh, this may take a minute. What was I supposed to do there? So, I guess I couldn't hit it with anything, right? No, I haven't really, <laughs> not really got anything I could use. I got bolt cutters, that was it. So let's try going through one of the other doors. And it came through here as well. So maybe it wasn't the same one. Yeah, we went through there. Look, there's another door there, and I think I saw one there. Okay, let's try one of these instead. Oh, an armory. Perfect. Okay, this is what we need. Yes. The door can open with the power out. Shit. Okay. I do not know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's no way I can just go in there and hope for the best. Maybe if I can get a weapon or something. There's no way. Oh, you... Oh, my God! What am I supposed to do against that? This is... This is my nightmare. I know why you guys wanted me to play this. It's because of this, isn't it? It has to be. Oh, we still have the key card. Okay. I'm not going through that sequence then. I'm going this way. Does that bypass that one come in here? Oh, it might do. Did I just cheese that? Oh, I think I deserve it. My heart rate's, like, definitely pushing into the 180s right now. <laughs> I don't need this. This early on. I wonder if this has anything to do with the DLC as well, because it was called Raptor Isolation. It, it probably isn't, but... Let's see. Days just seem to get longer. I thought I heard something. I didn't actually read that because I panicked. All right, let's just open this then. A weapon? Oh, yes, give me that. <gasps> Tactical reminder. In your inventory, be sure to arrange weapons at the top for easy access. Okay, yeah, I was doing that anyway. Can I not open this? I I I'm trying with all my might, but nothing is happening. Okay, right, we got plenty of ammunition. Everything's arranged as it should. <sighs> okay. Did I miss anything in here? No. Oh, there's something there, though. Another syringe and another health file. Grab that. Grab that. And then let's combine them so we don't have to mess with it later. Put you there. Okay, we're looking all right. Let me just go back in here a second. I'm going to close you. And I just wanted to see if there was any way of me reading that document that I missed. As many of you know, we've seen that one. Okay, journal entry 35. The days just seem to get longer. Working around these monsters just makes me so uneasy. I know if the guys upstairs ever found out I brought a weapon to work, it would be my ass. I want some personal protection in case one of these prehistoric beasts ever get out. Thanks, Joe, because without your help there, I would be defenseless. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll take it. And I'm slowly going to creep through. 
because in there is the other one. The lighting really doesn't help either. We've got to get the power on to go into the armory as well. I thought we'd be able to see it. Let's close you up. Is it going to be here? Oh, no, it definitely is. Oh, it's there. Okay, it's gone that way. I can see its tail. Let's stay... Stay here. Okay, I think it's gone away. This way. Don't you dare. Oh. Hello. I've got a feeling he's not going to be friendly, is there? Let's see what's in here. Keep these closed. I've got to say, I know it is kind of... <laughs> it is definitely a little bit rough around the edges, but... Oh! Okay, what's this? A lockbox. It says Old Betty on the side. It's very heavy. That's going to be a weapon, isn't it? But I don't think I have anything to open it. Some more cash. What's this business? This cell phone is broken. What happened to it? <laughs> there's, there's way more issues than we need to worry about right now than the cell phone. Who are you? Europe trip, 2019. Oh. Is this... Is this the key card we were after? The blue one? What the hell was that? The power just went out in my office. As chief technical engineer, I can tell you this was no accident. Not only is the power out, my cell phone is broken. The only thing that could do something like this is an electromagnetic pulse. My god. Can you imagine if any of the velociraptors got out? Well... <laughs> We've just seen them. None of us would make it out alive. They're probably the most dangerous predator to ever walk the earth. I don't know about that, but they're absolutely terrifying. The break room is just down the hall. I'm going to head down there and see if I can reset the power. Hopefully I won't need old Betty. Yeah, it's definitely a weapon then. Jay Dorans, chief technical engineer. P.S. If I don't make it back, the blue key card, the subsystem access is tapped. Oh, taped, I guess, <laughs> to the back of the photo on my desk. All right, we found that too. Okay, so I think I've got to go back this way. Oh, here we go. Some sweet revenge. Yes! Oh, wait, no! Oh, I thought that was going to be... Oh, shit! What? Oh, wait, no way, did he... This is head of security, Lieutenant Finley. Specimen containment breaches have been reported. Containment teams are to report to sub-level officers immediately. Who? Why is he so calm? Is he the one that did this? That door's open. I didn't open it. No, I did open it because I got the stuff out of there, didn't I? Okay. Nice and calm. The power's not back on yet. Yeah, no, we can't open that. <laughs> the lights of this are insanely bright. Just double checking that I got everything too. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can. Can I get up there? Oh, God, I'm going to be trying this for hours. Wait. Try and break it. Nope. Okay, we're leaving it. I tried. I don't know if anything's up there, but I don't really care. We need to get back to the door that we needed the blue key card for. Are you going to be down here? Okay, no, he's not. He's not feasting away. Kill the flashlight. Listen out. I'm actually going to close the doors behind me as well. I'm actually really paranoid now. <laughs> now I know these things can get anywhere. Oh, what's this? Somebody was working away. Probably got snatched. It was this way. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> All right, let's keep going then. 
Okay, we got some ladders. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, there's no way. Oh my god. Okay, I'm really far back. Hold on a second. Did we get everything we needed? Yeah, I think so. Can't break this open. Can I shoot that? You know what? I'm actually going to try. Right, back. Back. It's just... It's in the toilet. <laughs> oh, you shit. Oh. Stay dead. Oh my god. It's going to be another one. No? And there's nothing I can get in here either. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, down. Got it. So we want to go down. Nice. What? We're in a cave system. Hey, big guy. Ooh. I'll definitely take that. Pump action weapon that has a large spread when fired. Close range, this weapon has very high stopping power. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we need. To, to roleplay our Muldoon. Right, let's go there. Put you there. Okay, that, that seems like it works. Slot three. Twelve shells. Something's telling me that I should probably use that, so I am going to keep that out. Okay, what does this say? Animals getting out of their pens. There was just a massive explosion. What the hell is going on up there? I came down to check on the animals and half of them have escaped. Rocks have fallen, blocking the main passage too. Each paddock has a built-in breaker, so I was able to flip A and B back on to keep the remaining animals in their pens. Even so, most of them escaped. Lucky I got my shotgun. Well, something got you though. What? With the power out, I'm sure the technicians... Don't have any of the door codes written down on good old paper. Paddock A. Door code is 5566. Private Jared Morin. Okay. Thank you, Jared. Oh. Nice. Okay, that's what we needed. Right. Let's grab those. We'll put them underneath. And actually, I can do that right now. So, slot one and slot two. Oh, that's so nice. What's through here? Oh, what the f What was that? What was that? It had like, it was like a, a prehistoric peacock or something. Play audio. You are currently in the subterranean biodome. This complex system of caves are both natural and man-made. The biodome is completely self-sufficient, a 100-acre underground preserve where a Jurassic habitat has been recreated in painstaking detail to fit the needs of our highly valuable prehistoric guests. So there's something behind... Oh, is this one of the... Oh, okay, okay, so this is one of the paddocks then. Okay, so 5566. Six, six. Enter. I guess. Welcome. <laughs> I'm already regretting knowing the code. Oh, this is long grass, isn't it? Hey, big guy. Do I have to follow you through the grass, maybe, and then use you as a decoy? I already see one of them. Look at that. Oh! Oh my god, it destroyed it! Keep the flashlight off. Don't look. Yeah, look at that. He's eating over there. You see his head? It's eating RJ. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know. One too many references. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> we get it? I'm just going to leave the, uh, the flashlight on. I don't care. I need... I need to see them. Come on, then. Nice. Got plenty of shells left. That's 
this. Oh my god, you came out of nowhere, you shit! Oh, we got a new weapon. What is that? Semi-auto shotgun. Silenced. 100% take that. It went so dark then. Okay. The director is- Oh my god! Of course, of course, it sneaks me like that. I know I shouldn't have read that there. Nice. That's two. Oh, it feels good to get revenge. Here we go. Three. There's obviously a couple more too. Stand still for a second, see if you can see any head movement or anything. I'm guessing it's over on that far side or something. Or it could possibly be that first one that we didn't get. Right, let's grab you. And the shells. And then... Okay, slot three. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa! What? What was that one? <laughs> what, what was... Why was it glowing? I shouldn't ask questions. There's clearly something else down going on down here than just bringing dinosaurs back to life. Okay, the director is a madman. I found out he's in a circle of fanatical bioengineers working on crossbreeding man and dinosaur. When I found out, he had me thrown into the pit and left for dead. I don't think I'm going to make it out alive. If anyone reads this, I think he's planning something big. Isaac, the game warden. That's what happened to him. They got rid of him because they found out his, or he found out their secrets. Let's switch back to this one. Make your way through the biodome. I was trying to read what that was saying. Oh, okay. I completely missed this when I went that way around the tree. Okay. It's a good thing that we circled back around then. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They've tore through the fences. Oh, I really don't like this. Is this where I saw that weird peacock? Yeah, it was. Okay. What's that? 500? <sighs> okay. Are we doing it? Hello? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, one day it's going to happen. <laughs> one day. <laughs> I'd probably prefer it not to happen with, <laughs> with, with raptors though, or anything else that looks like that. Wait, what? Oh, these are all the other paddocks. Okay, yeah, so this is B. Okay, yeah, no, that was just for the for the main one. Okay. Let's take a look at paddock C then. Let's see what horrors await us down here. Not hearing or seeing any raptors. What's this? Plaster for ceilings and walls. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why that's there. Maintenance report. Can we get some actual scaffolding down here? We're using wood tied together with rope and it feels like the Stone Age. I know the big brains up top get all the funding, but these new containment chambers are not going to build themselves. E. Cohen, Sierra Construction Foreman. Okay. The stuff was breaking apart anyway. And it's supposed to be top of the line. Oh, look! Stegos! Right. Keep this off. Is that somebody over there working? I'm not going to piss these guys off. They look so cool as well. Look at that. Just grazing away. With the... Uh, oh, no. What's he got? With the Thagomizer. There you go. The Thagomizer. Big old Thagomizer on the back of it. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff that we can pick up here. Please don't come this way, big guy. Right, another syringe. We'll definitely hold on to that. So... Oh, shit. What do I get rid of? I definitely want the shotgun. So, let me... Get rid of you, and then grab that. Can I combine you real quick? There we go. So I've got another slot. I can pick that up if I need to. And what does this say? Stegosaurus, age Jurassic, size up to 10 meters. Stegosaurus was first discovered in 1877, Colorado. The animal has a set of large armored fins and a spike tail that it can use with tremendous force. The fins are not directly attached to the animal's skeleton, but rather just come out of the skin. 
This means that if Stegosaurus break a scale, it's a minor injury. I didn't actually know that. Side note, several of the staff have grown very close to the cow-like nature of the Stegosaurus. However, the Stegs <laughs> will get aggressive if provoked. I also recommend planting more Bermuda grass in Paddock C and doubling the UV lights as the Stegs diet is heavier than anticipated. Dr. Jim Sweet, Sierra Biopharmaceutical Administrator. Okay. Antidote vial. Are we going to see some Dilophosaurus or something? What is that? Number 34 is written on the pad with a marker. Okay. Do I want to take this? I guess I can drop them if I need it. Wait, is that a frog? I was told you guys have like a, a cow-like nature, so <laughs> please be calm. That is, that's a big old like prehistoric frog. Which I've actually forgotten the name of right now. I believe those guys actually existed like... The oh, sh Oh, he's pissed. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go. Back this way. Can I close? No. Did I pick everything up? Yeah, 34. Okay. And then back through to the other one. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, is that what I saw before? Oh my god. So there's just massive spiders down here too. I was just about to say that wasn't so bad. And then that thing appears. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there was me saying before, looks like a prehistoric peacock. <laughs> you idiot. It's a prehistoric spider or something like that. I think that's what it was, anyway. Hold shift to sprint run. Okay, jumping puzzle. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got this. Okay, let's let that stamina recover. No doubt there's going to be a whole bunch of nonsense down there that we don't want to fall into, so... There we go. Some more cash. How much have we got now? 1640. That's not bad. And there's another antidote. What is that? 29. So what was that one? 34 and 29. I'm not going to take them. In fact, let me drop that. 34, 29. I'll remember that. That shouldn't be too, too much of an issue. I've got a feeling that something's going to jump on the side of this, like latch on the side of it. Oh my God! I knew. I genuinely thought there was going to be like a raptor or something trying to climb the side of it, but... Wait, hold on. Where's my health? Are we good? Should I use that just in case? <sighs> okay. We just topped up. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. 3429. I think that's the code that we need to get through this door on the left, paddock C. I say think with <laughs> like a little bit of hope in there too. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Three, four, two, nine. No? Two, nine, three, four. There Welcome. we go. So it's just the opposite way around. So what are we walking into here? What was in Paddock C? <gasps> Nothing good. Okay. So health-wise... We have these two. I can definitely... Can I not... I can't stack that either. Oh, that's... Ri Wait, combine? There we go. Combine. Okay, I didn't think of doing that before. That makes way more sense. <laughs> okay. Combine. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to quickly go back into the, uh, into the Stego paddock. I can see them down there too. And get the... Uh, I think I dropped pistol ammo. I don't know if I picked back up the shotgun rounds. My stamina dreams really quick too. Kill the flashlight. Is that prehistoric frog looking to take me down still? I think it is. It's down there somewhere. <laughs> Just waiting. Oh yeah. No, it is. I can hear it. And I think if I shoot that thing, the stegos are going to come my way. Right, let's grab this. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. No. 
No, look at him. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little guy. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Nobody saw it. <laughs> he was just minding his business. And then I think I pissed him off by going over there. Just defending his territory. And that's how he goes out. It was quick. It's what he would have wanted. All right, let's have a look how we're doing this. Some pistol ammo is back up. Yeah, we're looking good. I would really like another... <laughs> Another weapon, though. Something like a melee weapon that I don't necessarily need to use all the ammunition in the world on. But having said that, that means I've got to get in close. Find the escape ladder. Okay, right, let's, let's grab one of these, and then we can combine you with you, which gives us another one of them. And then do we want to get some... I've not needed anti-venom. I'm going to take this. My, my logic behind this is if something gets close enough to me to bite me like that, I'm going to want to use this anyway, right? So, I don't know. Maybe I'll need it. Titanoboa. Age, Paleocene, size up to 14 meters. The Titanoboa is the largest snake ever recorded, 42 feet, and native to Colombia. A new addition to the Project Fossil Fuel Collection. We were supposed to find out that the Titanoboa does have... Oh, surprised to find out that it does have a venomous bite which the medical team has already started to analyze for medical research. Titanoboa is a piscivore, likes to eat fish, but he's still a danger if it perceives a threat. Side note, we ended up moving the Titanoboa to an isolated containment paddock until we finished building the new wing. Titan has been very aggressive with the workers since the move. I have put in a request that antidote serum be placed nearby. Yep. And my smooth brain hasn't been picking it up. And you know what? I'm not going to now because th this is my life and I choose to live this way. So, back out. I'm leaving you right there. So that's what we're going to be coming up against then. Titanoboa. Oh, it's so dark. Wait. Are my eyes adjusting down here? Is that what's going on? Because it was so dark then. Got a feeling something's just going to appear. Okay, can we combine anything? Let's combine these two together. I know I've told this story a few times, though, but just in case you haven't heard it, there was like a, or there is like a, a sighting in the cryptozoology field of apparently a titanoboa, or what people think might be mistaken. As a, oh my god, look at that thing. Oh, I was just waiting there at the ladder. But yeah, if you've never heard the story of Colonel Remy Van Leerd, or Leerd, I can't really say it right. It was somebody who served in the Belgian Air Force and the British Royal Air Force too in World War II, who claimed that he saw a giant snake while in a helicopter, I believe coming back from a place, if I remember the story right, and he got so low to try and get pictures of it with the people he was with, that it raised up in the air and was trying to attack or was about to attack the helicopter. And apparently there's like photographic evidence of this. I've always been like completely taken back by stories like that. Whether it's true or not, it's still interesting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing something that big? Whoa, can we? Oh yeah, there we go. Get it on its underbelly. I'm so thankful that I'm fast in the water, too. Come on, let it have it. Hundreds and hundreds of millions pumped into this creature to bring it back from extinction, and we're just going to take it out like that. No, stop. This thing's actually pretty tanky, too. Don't want to let it get too close. I don't have the anti-venom. Oh, run away. There it is, there it is. Can I circle around this spot? Nice. Go, go, go. Just don't let get too close. <laughs> We're okay. Keep going. If I didn't find the shotgun, I would definitely be in trouble. Whoop. Oh, we've got to defeat it first. Okay, it's not put up some, too much of a threat. Nice. Okay. I'm fine with that. I really am fine with that. It's, if it would have bit me there. Could you imagine a snake this size? That's so insane to think about that there was a creature this big at one time. And I do truly believe as well. I know a lot of you guys are like, what? You're insane. But... What was that? Oh, wait. 
I was going to say that I do truly believe in, like, natural outliers. Just like in humans. I really do think... I don't think there's one this big, but I do think there is a giant... or oh, multiple giant snakes around the world. Especially in remote parts of the world that we don't interfere with. Same for, like, things like crocodiles and stuff. All right, reload up. Are we okay? Do we use a lot there? All right, let's combine that. I keep doing that. There we go. 17. We're looking all right. Can I go back and get the other ammunition if there was any left? I know I'm being a bit of a, a loot goblin here, but I'm probably going to need it. Oh, no, it was up there, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, let's just go back. <laughs> oh, my God, what? No way! No, you didn't! Oh, you shit! Okay, get up there. Go, 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 go. There is no way. Oh, look at this as well. <gasps> this is so... Wait, what about if I just use... I'm still... Oh, okay. Oh, shit, no. You know what? I kind of deserve this. <gasps> Actually, no, I don't deserve this. Whoa, who are you? Oh, antidote. Wait, can I... Exit shop. Uh, Wait, no way did I just buy that? Remember, at Sierra, we care. Nice. Uh, right, let's take that. Use. <sighs> oh my god, what are the chances of there being a shop? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> just right there after that. Oh, okay, right, let's have a look at how we're doing then. Yeah, we still got three syringes that we can use. So what else can we get? I don't think... Maintenance and supply goods are sold here. Maybe, oh, a revolver ammo. Okay, I'm gonna get another backpack. Thank you for business. And that gives me, no way did I just, no way. <laughs> I just wasted 800 on that. You scam <laughs> pieces. Oh. Oh. Stay down. <laughs> oh my God, I really didn't think he was gonna go down. Oh, and there's an antidote vial here, too. Yeah, we'll hold on to you. What? That's a raptor. Yep, there it is. Go on, the big guy. Oh! I didn't stay down. Look at that. Oh, that's so bad. We're okay, though. We're handling ourselves. Some extra cash. Reload up. I mean, we're doing all right. We've got no pistol ammo left. Put that there. I'm gonna move that out of the way because I've got nothing left in them. Yeah, let's just stick with this. Not really tested. Oh. Red key card. Okay. I've not really tested if they do react to the flashlight. They've just sprinted at me straight away, so I've not really had a chance to. Oh, death. That's what they were eating. And there we go. There's the red key card. This is Chief Technical Officer John Durantz. It has been over an hour since the power died. I can barely hear that. are everywhere. I don't think this was an accident. Judging by the destruction of the electrical equipment, I believe this may have been caused by an EMP. Possibly yeah, that's what we said before. Doesn't matter. The only way to get topside is to restore the primary elevator. The fire was blocking the access hall, so I had to take the long way through the animal paddock corridor, which is completely overrun. <sighs> and that big freaking snake has poisoned me. And I don't think I'm going to last much longer. If anyone finds me, I have the key to old Betty which is still in my office. Get that power restored, so others have a chance. I just wish I could stay here. Oh, and he's gonna slip away. So is that you? So old Betty office, so that means that you are, wait, as many of you know, Game Warden, no, it's not that one. It's not you. I know we found something that said about old Betty in a pen. No, it wasn't that one. It's this one, isn't it? What the hell was that? So, that person there was Jay Dorans, Chief Technical Engineer. Rest in peace, Jay Dorans. Right, let's find out where you want us to go then. So we got the red key card now. And he was basically explaining what we've seen so far. The door can't open with the power out. 
What? Like with the fire and stuff like that? Oh, this is where we came through before. When you walked up to this window and we grabbed stuff out of there. And that's where this nightmare began. I'm definitely feeling more confident. Oh, I'm definitely feeling more confident now that we have a weapon. But I'm very aware that there's a lot more that could happen. Right, let's put that there. And health-wise, how we're we looking. That restores 100% health. This restores 50. I'm going to use one of these. And that way we can just organize everything a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to keep that on four because then if I tap that, hopefully that'll give me 100 if I'm in trouble. All right, we're looking good. I know I'm going to go through one of these doors sooner or later. And then what happened earlier on with the toilet is going to happen again. Let's keep our distance. Oh, this is the fire then. So the office is round that way. So we're round the back of it now. Right? Yeah, look, down there was the uh, was the office with with old Betty. So, sublevel breaker. So we got the power restored. Oh, the armory's open now. Nice. Okay, so we can get some some more hardware. Let's put you there. I'm probably going to get rid of this to be honest if we got a choice. Oh, look at these water physics. <laughs> I'm not too mad about it. This has actually been pretty fun, though. Again, it's been definitely rough around the edges, but it's been fun finding out what happened to uh, our leading up to part two, I guess. So, we get what we needed? No, that's old Betty, and then, yeah, we still don't have what we need for it. So, we'll go to the elevator. What the fuck is that? What is that? What am I supposed to do against this? Homo erectus rex. What is this? Oh, this is one of the, the, the things that they were doing. They were they were experimenting with dinosaur and humans. Which way do we go? This way? Have I got to take that thing down? Wait, I think I can take that thing down. That hit hard when I shot it then. Come on, big guy. There we go. There we go. Get away. Oh, yep, yeah, that swing. Oh. Close. Is it trying to hit the raptors? Oh, yes, you're big and stupid. Come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Come on. Come on. Oh! Do we do it? That is so weird. That's <laughs> so weird. So this is what happens when you combine human DNA with a T-Rex. You get the super predator from the movie that we shall not name. <laughs> Got it. I mean, that was pretty easy to take down. I don't know if that was supposed to be like a, a roaming boss, but maybe I found the shotgun at the perfect time. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, wait, did that thing burst through here? Oh. Or was that always a way I could have gone? I'm so confused. Okay, right, let's take a look at the armory then. Is it all gone? No. Kill a flashlight blaster. This weapon fires 9mm rounds, which it supercharges via plasma coils, creating minimal recoil. Low stopping power is made up for a high fire rate. Body armor. Nice. Shotgun. Pistol rounds. Explosive powder combined to make fragmentation grenade C4 or pro proxy mines. We can open this as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the, um, the hybrid would have broken through. Is his body gone? No, he's still over there. Whoa. Yeah, that wasn't there before either, was it? Oh, shit. What? I'm guessing... 
Ooh. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Um, let's combine. Okay, we can grab this now. Nice. And then we'll put that there and there. So slot four. Oh, yeah, we got an axe now. That's what I was asking for before. Let's keep the blaster out, though. It's all up and... Oh, this was a way in there too. Okay, right. So into the elevator and to the surface now. Have those things got out of the facility though? Oh, of course there's a vent. What, the elevator broke? All right. There's no way I'm not having a shotgun out for this. Why can I hear the hissing of a raptor? Oh, you're gonna be in there, aren't you? Yep. Oh, you're my raptor. Oh, okay. What is that? That is so wrong. I'm going this way first. Can't see anything. <laughs> Do you things take him out, or is there something else? I've been hiding in the vent since the power went out. My entire team was killed, perhaps using spider DNA to fill the genetic gaps of Meganeuropsis was a bad freaking idea. Is that what those things are? Wait, there was another... There's another vent around here. I've got to see what's there. <laughs> oh boy, what is down this? <laughs> okay, good. Something gonna fall? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of glad nothing was there. We'll take that. So the ladder then will probably get us on top of the elevator, and then we can use another ladder to get to the surface. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, we got to pull that thing there. I'm kind of getting stuck, though. So that's all we had to do. We just had to unjam the mechanism a little bit. And I guess that makes sense why I'm hearing raptors then, because we're going to have a run-in with them now. <laughs> that noise hasn't stopped. Are they up there? Oh, I'm just waiting for this. Is there going to be more hybrid? Oh my god! What is that? Of course, there's a giant spider with eggs behind it as well. Okay. Come on. Come on. We've taken down everything that's come our way this far. It's the queen as well. Come on. Let's try this one. Oh, shit! I didn't see that one. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Can't really see because of the smoke. Nice. Look at the size of that thing as well. This is why you don't do this stuff. Go away. No, don't you. Look at that. There's going to be so many of them coming from that opening in the wall too. Let's reload up. This thing didn't really do much either. Yeah, it's got the high fire rate, but it's absolutely not got the stopping power. Oh, there's no way you're going to make me go through this. You are, aren't you? Nope. All right. Oh, my God! Another queen! Come on. Leave me alone. Come on, come on. 
And then one more should do it. Nice. You're probably going to have more babies around though, aren't you? You disgusting thing. I've got 42 rounds left with that. Come on, give me something good. More rounds. I don't really need the health, which is good. Okay, so that's where we were before. So we can cut back through. I feel like the game is making shortcuts for me. Wait, can we shoot these things? Yeah, we can. Okay, good to know. <laughs> we didn't need it, but good to know. This shotgun is so superior. And I'm so happy that we've got it. No complaints. What's all this? All the power stuff, power terminals. I can still hear that weird sound, so there's more than likely going to be another one of those queens around. Wait. There we go. And then this is going to circle back around, right? To where we were before. The vent has gone. I think we're going the right way. And then this one should take us... Yeah, this should take us back inside. <sighs> okay. We did it. This is Lieutenant Finley. I have reports from the surface that an unknown enemy military force has entered the base. Whoa. All security personnel are to report to the armory ASAP. Wait, so I'm going to be fighting the Sierra Guards now? Can't go in there. Look how nice that thing is. What? That's so cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but look at that. That's really satisfying. <laughs> oh, I could do that all day. Can we break stuff? Am I coming through? <sighs> we are cut off from the surface. Specimens are crawling all over this place. Find your way to the base power plant. From there, you can restart the entire system. Once online, I can get a message to the mainland. Get it done, son. Out. <laughs> Was he genetically altered, too? I don't know if you guys caught that. He had, like, something on the side of his head. Oh, here we go. Soldiers are here. I was in the bathroom when the power went out. Next thing I knew, I heard gunshots. Soldiers breached the administration level and killed everyone. They're going through the files. They are not our guys, that's for sure. They must have cut the power to sneak in and steal our research. I gotta get out of here. Jennifer O'Hale, Human Resources. Yes, I think they have taken over the CCTV system, so they can see what I'm doing then. Alright, there's no point in hiding. Okay, we got a leak too. I need to know if I can do this. Hold on. Oh! What? Why does that look so good? <laughs> Again, is that... Is that just me? I'm having way too much fun with that. Can we open this? Okay. <laughs> I thought one of those bugs was going to be in there or something. Alright. Let's keep it moving then. Don't actually know what he asked me to do. I'm guessing he was just telling me to... To get out alive. Oh, hello, big guy. These things are really cute. I don't really want to... I don't really want to have to take him out. I guess I have to, though. Oh, look at him. <laughs> you just have a big rest. You stay there. I'll take care of the bad. What was you guarding? This? Okay, what's it say? Beazle Bufo, the devil frog. Cretaceous period, up to one meter. Called the devil frog, this big frog has a wide mouth that can eat small dinosaurs. While not very aggressive, giving up the chase easily, it will attack if it spots prey. The devil frog has a bite force of 2,000 newtons and a barbed four-foot tongue. Side note, we have bred several different types of devil frogs. We have managed to house venom in the small red ones, while most have turned into the larger, more natural Beazle Bufo. I think I'm saying that right which are not venomous. They like water. I can recommend we up the water in their paddock, which they share with the Stegosaurus. Yeah, that's the one we saw before then. Okay, so the red one we saw was venomous. What did that do? We open a place up. 
Oh, hey, big guy. You're back. Wait, did you? <laughs> oh, no, they can live forever. Let's take you down again. Then. You're not venomous, so I'm not too worried about you. Massive damage. Reload up. Nothing here. I found a key on top of one of these drawers, too. I should probably try all of them. Nothing. No. Oh. There's a card there. Did we get it? There we go. A key that unlocks a drawer. Which drawer? Oh, these ones? Oh, yes. Oh, give me that. SMG silenced. Okay. Some cash, too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right. Hold on. Put you there. Put you underneath. And I guess I'll put you down there, too. Slot four. Oh, yes. Give me this. And a hard drive with classified data. Better leave this here. Absolutely not. No, we want to take that with us. Otherwise, everybody's going to call us a liar. Can we go this way? Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder what happened there. That is crazy that that broke. Whoa. So this is the force that came in to just delete everything then. Looks like you're invading friends have met our local sharp toothed resident. So slot one now we have the AK slot 2, we have the auto shotty slot 3, we have the blaster, and slot 4, we have the silenced SMG. Okay, we're so ready now. We've got more health. Probably want to get rid of you and grab that because that restores 100. So, okay, yeah, we're looking good now. I'm going to just put all these here as well. Security cameras will alert the enemy as will non-silenced weapons. Ooh, okay. So we got cameras to worry about. So we got a light over there that we got to bypass. Do we just want to go loud though? I kind of do. I guess that does it. Some more shotgun shells. No, I don't think I want to take that. Let's go through here. Oh yeah, okay, we're in a fight now. Reload. I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. We've got more weapons as well. Okay, I wanna get rid, I think I'm gonna get rid of you. Let's grab the pistol. Whoa, why can't I? It's got a laser on it too. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try and... Whoa, night vision? Yeah, we're definitely grabbing another first aid. Okay, so our first aid is looking really good. Ammunition, we could definitely be better with. But seeing as though I just switched that out, I should have... <laughs> the night vision, nice. Okay, let's get this thing back out. Around this way. Oh, I suppose we could just use this. You can perform stealth takedowns on soldiers if you sneak up behind them. Can I... No. Oh, I can! So I shoot the lights and then <laughs> I turn into James Bond. Can't open the drawers. I don't think I can carry anything either way, so let's keep going. There's one there. There we go. Reload. I would... I don't think they're the smartest. Alright, we got it. We got it. Some more rounds. Let's keep it lights on. Nice. We're just dropping them no problem right now. Can I not get anything from them? Is that a turret? What? Okay, hold on. Let me switch you for you. That is a turret. 
We get it? Oh yeah, we got it. <laughs> this the way we're supposed to be going? No. That is too satisfying, right? Let me switch this back around. <laughs> Have I only got five rounds left for that? Okay, let's put that on like there, like that. Oh my god! Oh my god, that made me jump so Oh, what? Is that an aloe? Let's go this way. That's really cool looking. Look at that with the light. There's... I was just going to say, there's no way it gets through here with those pipes, but it just bursts through them. Alright. I don't want to take this thing down. I really like the look of it. Come on! Oh, no, don't charge, don't charge. This wasn't its containment unit either. It was definitely looking for food in here. I wonder if we can just hide from it. It's coming back this way. Let's try... Should we give it some grenades? There we go. And it's down! It breaks my heart, that, the fact that we're taking these things down. I mean, we have to. But that's so cool, though. That's what I was hoping for playing this. Like, we'd see a bunch of different stuff that we hadn't come across yet. Right, shotgun stuff. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about picking anything up, in all honesty. Maybe this for more grenades? I don't think I would have missed anything. We've been pretty thorough so far. Oh, is it these guys again? Whoa. What? Oh. It's those guys. <laughs> There's one. And it took you out. What is that? Oh, give me this. Silent Knight. Russian assault rifle. High stopping power that can be heard by enemies. Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I know one of you guys are going to be a sneaky bitch just waiting. Or maybe not. Okay. I don't trust it. Oh, there's one up there. Watch your fire, friendly allies ahead. <laughs> okay. So you got the turret on go? Wait. Oh, okay. So we put that on the top, ready to defend this area then. So we're going to get... What is that? Is that a flamethrower? Oh, no. I guess I'm going to have to drop this. We have to play with all the new toys, right? Oh, <laughs> look at this. What is that? Is that a new rifle too? Yeah, we have to do it. Yep, give me that. So we're going to drop... We're going to have to drop this. I want to play with the new stuff. Give me that. Oh, no, this ain't reason right. They're all over the place. We got incoming. Lots of incoming. We've got lots of incoming. Oh! Oh, get the flamethrower going! Oh, my God! What? There were so many of them! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. A little Easter egg. You're just reading me. No, no, this ain't reading right. They're all over the place. We got incoming. Lots of incoming. I almost forgot to put that on. Oh, here they come. I'm going to back up here. Oh, shit. Keep firing. Keep firing! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no way! There is no way!
way you make it through that. Oh, is that what we got to do? Oh my God, this is what we got to do. We got to get out. This is it. We got to get out. Okay, leave them. Oh no. Oh boy. Go. Go on, big guy. Is that Rex? Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. Get it? Oh. <laughs> what? We got the flamethrower. Wait, hold on. Let's put that on there. We throw a few grenades. No doubt we're going to have a run-in with this thing at some point. I wonder if we can take it down, though. Let's keep hitting it with some rounds or something. <laughs> the size of that thing. Okay, what else we got? We got this still. Yeah, we're doing good. We're all right. I didn't realize we just had to escape there. Are they drones? I think they are. You okay? We're going? All right. Health. And I don't think... I mean, I can drop that and just pick up a fresh mag, right? Yeah. All right, let's do that. You coming? <laughs> I don't really know what these guys are supposed to be doing. More shotgun shells. Yep, we'll definitely... Okay, who's Finlay? Tyrannosaurus Rex, Cretaceous period, up to 9 meters. That was definitely bigger than 9 meters. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a super apex bipedal carnivore. Native to North America, the T-Rex was thought to be a scavenger, but this has been disproven by our observation. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rex is Latin for king, has been observed to have a bite pressure of about 12,000 pounds. In comparison, this is twice that of an average Nile crocodile. Each T-Rex consumes three bovines a week prompting us to consider artificial meat tied to a walking drone, stimulating prey as more efficient food replacement. Side note, we recommend stocking the armory near the T-Rex with higher caliber weapons. In the event they are needed, low caliber weapons will not penetrate the thick skin of the T-Rex, which is three times harder than a rhinoceros. Veterinarians are carrying 9mm weapons when they enter the containment paddocks, which is useless for a dinosaur above a class 3. Okay, <laughs> they're putting them in different classes too. Fresh air smell good? I wish I was up there with you, son. Hurry and get to the power plant. We are all counting on you. Oh, so... Whoa. Whoa! Hold on a second. I think I'm gonna drop this. And then grab this. Oh, we got some sniper action. Oh, yeah. They don't know what's about to hit them. There's a tank there, though. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Am I supposed to get in there? Reload. Yeah, there's... N I've got to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, go. Can we get in this? Oh, we actually can. Wait, what? Oh, my. God. Okay. Yeah. No, we're definitely driving this. Let's go. Oh, it's like rolling this thing back. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. We got predator vision. Nice. Select different gun. Oh, wow. The recoil is insane. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go down that way. I don't know what's going on, guys. I really don't. I know I can deploy smoke, though. Look at that. Oh, wait. Are we gonna get into a tangle with the Rex? The one that we just saw in there? That could be cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> just run over him. I don't know where that person is. Oh, I'm getting shot. Let's put that up. I can't see anything. Is that a vehicle? Just just shoot it to be sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another tank. Come on, keep going. That's definitely what was hammering us just then. Oh, we got another one. What are you doing? <laughs> Why would you shoot at a tank like that? Let me squish you. <laughs> Ah, there we go. And there. I think that is another one. 
this is so like insane like <laughs> this is so far from what i thought it was gonna be but i i, I kind of like it you know <laughs> it's just it's complete nonsense but i'm here for it wait did that drop i think it did i don't know what that is oh look at this Oh, we sawed him in half. Wait, no, we didn't. There we go. Now we sawed him in half. Just a path of destruction behind us. <laughs> I really thought we were going to tangle with a Rex or something, or like another hybrid. I might have spoken too soon, but... We're going to fall? Oh, yeah, look at that. She can handle anything. Out on the ice. Is that where we're going? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> just, just out of there. Just gone. Let's go this way. Switch to the secondary. Frames are a little bit rough right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Inside there, too. Wait, can we just straight up... Can we destroy the bunkers? Oh, I don't think we can. They're impenetrable. <laughs> it's super unnecessary, but <laughs> like I said, I'm here for it. Right, let's cut you in half. You're vaporized. Oh, is that a sniper up there? Okay. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's disappeared. No one's ever going to find the bodies a million miles into the earth. Oh, yeah. Sometimes this is a good thing, you know? Just to, <laughs> Just to get a little bit of payback. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's gone to the moon. Oh, we wait. No, is this where it ends? Oh, no. That's heartbreaking. Wait, can we can we be smart here? Oh, shh. No, no, no. Don't roll back. Okay. Let's get out. He's out of there. He's out of there. He's gone. Get rid of their eyes so they can't see anything. Any other cameras? Is that where we're going? I think it might be. Can we take their comms down? That'd be really cool if they couldn't communicate with each other because... Oh, hello. What? Oh, is that a camera right there? Oh, that's so annoying. What are you? Got a little drone going on. <laughs> Wait, what? Can I... There we go. It's gone. I think I took down most of the guards anyway. Reload. Did I shoot something in the background over there? Again, so over the top. But <laughs> I'm not complaining. What is that? A turret. We got a turret as well. Perfect. We put the turret here. Why do I need a turret? I don't know why I needed that. <laughs> you know certain games that just bring a smile to your face? Yeah, this is definitely one of them. There's things in this that I didn't know I needed. And I don't think I do. But I'm happy they're there. You know? <laughs> oh, wait a second. The entire time I've not been using the map. I don't think I've really needed to. But we got two options here. We can go entrance A. Or entrance B. I, I think I'm right in front of entrance A. So yeah, we'll just stick with this one. Did we make the right choice? What is that? Oh, that was going to detonate. Hello? Oh, these are the labs. Another blaster there. Is that proximity mine? Soldiers are all over this place. It won't be long before they're in the lab. I have to change the code to the weapons research room. Okay. Find the code to the weapons research room. <laughs> Got it. And in terms of... Yeah, we definitely don't need anything else in terms of health. Yeah, look at this. It is creating genetically engineered monsters. What is that? Note to staff, lab exit gate switch is wired to wrong door. C then B. So ACB, is that what they're telling me there? 
Am I a genius for just working that out? Why are they being so cryptic to their staff too? Are they compartmentalizing everything? So everybody's thinking the wrong thing and you never get the truth? Testing chamber. <laughs> what did we just release? Okay, let's go this way first. I got a feeling something is down here. Yeah, we're good for health and stuff. I think, anyway. In fact, seeing as though we're not going to need the sniper rifle, let's just switch that out for a second. And then if we need to heal up pretty quick, we can. Ooh, hello. I guess they both lead down the same way. Why are there explosive bottles or tanks everywhere? Containment. I feel like I'm going to get trapped in one of these, too. What is this? Warning, top secret. Let me in. Okay, we need the code. Okay, so I've swept this place once. And I'm not seeing any code for this thing. Hold on a second. Let's have a look if there's any documents. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. So I only thought there was one side of it. Soldiers are all over the place. It won't be long before they're in the lab. Change the code to the weapons research room. I've written down the code, but I must flush it down the toilet before the soldiers get it. No! No! Did you flush it? Wait, hold on. I know where the toilets are. They're here. Open this. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got to stick my hand in that. 6819. <laughs> okay. Got it. 6819. She didn't quite flush it, but I'm glad of it. I even put this down here to see if I could explode it, but it's just flamethrower fuel. Okay, six, eight, one, nine. Welcome. Alright, what we got? Top secret weapon. It says here that I've got to find secret weapons, the laser weapon, and the gravity weapon. Is this them? Hold on, what do we want to get rid of here? We've not got a lot of ammunition in. Okay, I've got the sniper. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, put that on there, that on there, and then whatever this thing is. Black hole launcher. Okay, if you <laughs> if you ever find yourself in a fight with a T-Rex or a dinosaur, like any dinosaur, this is what you need. An experimental weapon that fires gravity grenades, <laughs> nicknamed the black hole launcher for its devastating power. Yes, give me all of that. Look at this thing. Okay, right. Can we take these two? Gravity grenade ammo. Oh, this is exactly what we needed. And because I opened up like the uh, the test area, I think I know where we've got to go. I tried to get through to this thing as well, but I can't. I can't do it. I've not got a lot of ammunition left for these weapons. Definitely can't go out there. And this says there's something blocking the door from the other side. Okay. We've got this. Got plenty of ammunition left for my... Uh, oh, wait. I think there might be some here. No, we have grabbed it. There we go. We're all out of ammunition for that. So let's put that on two. And we'll put the sniper on there. I think we should be good. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to keep the health on for Because I don't know what's coming at me here. Ooh. Do I put something on that? I think I might. Why does this not feel right? Why do I feel like I'm going to get into trouble? What? <laughs> what? What just happened? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, did we just find the mother load? Give me... All of that body armor. Okay, what don't we want? We don't need this. Oh my fuck! Oh! Cheap. That was so incredibly cheap. Okay, right. So, off the note we got before, it should be ACB in that order. Nope, that wasn't right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes! Is it gonna... Wait, what? That didn't kill you? Okay, reload it up. Maybe it's for something bigger then, so it traps it in place. But it looked like it... It definitely killed him in one shot. 
C. Aha, okay, so that's the entrance. Let's see what's behind B. Okay, that's <laughs> it's not doing anything to you guys. <laughs> the sniper rifle doesn't affect raptors. <laughs> Good to know. And a sick son of a bitch is recording this. Can we not get in there? All right, let's keep it moving. 11 shots with that. Reload the sniper up. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's too much fun. Hold on. Right, let me, let me swap that out. Is there anybody waiting for us? Oh, yeah, there is. Anyone else? Did we do it? I think we're good. Oh, shit. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're really not good. Okay, use that. Oh, my God. I was so right to not get rid of this. Am I supposed to jump through all that? Whoa. Oh, that's going to be the laser weapon. Okay, right. Let me... Yeah, we should be okay. I've got, I've got plenty of stuff that I can use. Let's switch to this one for a bit. It's got eye-stopping power. Should be alright. Get away from those tanks. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, there's a checkpoint here. <gasps> okay, it wasn't actually that far anyway, but I'm just glad that I don't have to go through all that again. <laughs> okay. Right, avoid the floor. Got it. Oh, there's a turret. Ah, there you are. Can you hear me? This is the director. Listen to me very carefully. We've already lost control of the facility. There's only one thing we can do. We need to blow the facility. Overload the reactor and bring it all to the do it. Overload the reactor. Is he talking to us? I think he might be. Can we... Oh, yes, we can. Okay, right. I don't want to get stuck on anything. Oh, there's none in here. Okay, this is the... Uh, this is the weapon. Oh, shit. Who's that? Can we... <laughs> can we get him out of there with that? Oh, look at him go! <laughs> Wait, did we... <laughs> Do we squish his atoms? Okay, that was worth. Just make sure we reloaded. Yeah, we're good. I don't know what I'm going to switch this out for, though. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to <laughs> because it's... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I can just get hold of this. Grab it. Grab the cells or whatever it is. I can go back this way. Hold on. Let me switch, I guess, the sniper rifle for now. That makes the most sense, right? <laughs> we got, like, a laser weapon. Okay. I'm going to test the laser weapon on the turret. I'm going to wait for it to sweep this way. Back a little bit. Oh, that is so nice. Okay. And then... This is it. we got to get to the reactor. Wait, I've got to get through all of this. I mean, I kept the sniper rifle, so maybe we can do this stress-free, but <laughs> got a feeling this is going to take a minute. Okay, wait. Oh, they're going to give me everything I've ever wanted and more. Okay. What is that? We can get hold of this too. A vault rifle. Yes, please. We'll take that. Let's just switch up. I'm going to keep the shotgun there. I'm going to leave. Yeah, switch that with that. And sniper rifle onto there. And I'll put the... I guess that one on there. Yeah, and then I can switch them over if I need them. And some extra mags. Sure, why not? Is that a flamethrower? I'm not really a big fan of the flamethrowers. So, I guess I'll miss those. Not seeing anyone. Oh, they know I'm here though. Take this slow. Oh, hello, friend. Oh. 
I didn't think there was a way they could get up there. Let's keep those headshots coming. Couple more. No way were they waiting then. Was he ducking then as well? That's actually kind of cool. Try and get headshots. Nice. I heard a few shots then. I don't know where they were coming from. Behind us. Another big guy over there. What about if we... Yeah, there's none of that stuff. Oh, hold on a second. Let me switch to this for a minute. You can have some fun. <laughs> Is he running away? Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, and the sniper. Oh, this is actually kind of satisfying. I hope it is to watch because just tapping heads like that, it feels re really nice. Oh, somebody else has got a sniper rifle. Where is he? I'm guessing down below, but I, my eyes can't make out where. Let's keep pushing forward. Oh, there we go. That's where the sniper is. Tango down. Yes, we could play with this a little bit. Just start <laughs> firing it in places. We got to go up. We want some height, right? We got a sniper rifle. That's where we want to be. Wait, no ways it's going to take us all the way across. No? Oh, maybe it can. If we if we follow this. Wait, there's no way we're actually going to do this. We got him. Had to do some weird crouching stuff, but we got him. Like on here. Shotgun. Stabilize or overload? Okay, the core is about to explode. I tried this one, but nothing happened. Maybe I was supposed to go to a specific spot. If anybody knows what that does, then let me know in the comments and I'll definitely come back and, and try it again if it's worth doing that. Okay, we're at a thousand now. That's over the, the normal output. It's getting up to danger. Let's just keep the shotgun out just in case. I did scan all of this place, but I, again, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, 900. Oh, there we go. My God, what have you done? You overloaded the core. In five minutes, the entire area is going to be a fireball the size of Rhode Island. Didn't you tell me to do that? <sighs> Very good. Make your way to the train station. I've got something special waiting for you. I can barely hear that person. He says, make your way to the train station. I've got I've got something prepared for you. Where is that? That's just like a staff area up there. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the train station. The train can't leave until the rail switch is set. Let me guess. There's going to be raptors everywhere down here. Let's just... Actually, I know... I suppose we can use this. This is what we're after. Oh, of course we didn't do it. A Rex is just waiting down here in the tunnel. <laughs> oh, get on that train and mow that thing down. Oh, it's not doing anything to it. Okay, hold on. What about one of these? No, nope, that's still too far away. Hold on. This? I mean, that's doing something, but not a lot. 
Oh, look at that. What about that? Oh, no! Oh, that really hurt it. Get behind the boxes. Come on, big guy. Leave that there. Oh, look at that. It's like sucking. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up. I know I'm bringing the Rex over there, but I think that's done it. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad that I kept hold of this. Just for good measure. I don't have the uh, the flashlight. I've got the night vision equipped, but that's kind of cool. I mean, taking these things down has been so easy with these weapons, but I'm not complaining. I definitely have it that way over anything else. Couple of shotguns. Yeah, we'll take these. Make sure. Look at that, 111. Reload this thing up. Are we good? Are we going to see it drive through the Rex's carcass? That would be hilarious if it did. <laughs> Just ragdolls through the tunnel. Nope. Okay. And there it goes. Destroying all and any evidence that may have been there. Ending B, difficulty normal, rank A, 1 hour 48. That felt way longer than that. Okay, so there we go, guys. That was the introduction to fossil fuel. I don't actually know what would happen if I pulled the blue one, because I did try, and I couldn't get out that same way before. Maybe it was bugged or something, but if it is worth it, let me know down in the comments, and I'll redo that. I guess if you guys do want to see the Raptor DLC... And let me know down in the comments or drop a like on the video and I'll definitely take a look at that. But for now, <laughs> I think we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.